Hey, it's Buck Strummer, or Demos Alliance. It's me, Spock, here. Coming to video in this video, I am turning image characters into golems. This is part one of five parts. I hope you'll enjoy. Well, let's get to the video, shall we? Okay. For once, we're actually not going to be going for dragons. That one actually happened for quite a few more times. The ones, creatures we're looking at today are golems. The first golem is the Explosive Cannon Golem, and it's a common name, it's actually Explosive Cannon. These golems are quite weird. Um, they have spikes on their legs, and for the record, all these golems are pretty sentient. They're almost as, they are or almost as intelligent as humans. Some of the, some maybe even more intelligent than humans. This one is lower intelligent than a human, but incredibly aggressive and very well versed in fighting techniques. This one has spikes on its legs, a one giant arm with a claw on it, and the other one with a cannon. These cannons have like little crystals in them that are imbued with some type of magic and on will this try this golem can make them explode causing a giant um explosion but some of these are actual cannons with cannonballs it's weird but that's a sub sub race called explosive cannonball golem i'll get into those uh, Next time we go over golems. Those are not as dangerous, but they are more intelligent. You can tell this golem by the nosely big cannon on one arm. But also, if you find the head of one of these things, you can tell that it's the golem from the orange and black spikes on the head. And from the red eye with that little angry face on it. Not to mention these golems weigh, um, not really weigh, they weigh a few tons, but their height's actually about eight feet tall. Uh, these things aren't really nice, but they are usually friends with some other golems. Mostly the, um, harden, hardening golem, which is quite weird. Um, on, for the record, these, this golem can talk. It always makes snarky remarks. Like, heh, <laughs> extras. Or something like that. It sounds a lot like Bakugo Katsuki. And all of these are officially made, which will explain why they're intelligence. Well, let's get to the next one, shall we? Okay, this next one is quite weird. It's a um, sub-race of a uh, crystal golem. And this type of subclass is a subclass of a, is a sub-race of another sub-race, the Crystal Guardian. These guardians are more powerful than their um brethren, the crystal golems. These these golems actually have some rock on them, but this one is the subclass of these crystal guardians. These ones are called crackling crystal energy golem, or crackling crystal. These golems are mostly found just wandering around helping people, and a few times, um, actually lifting up huge pieces of rubble. I'm talking. Maybe a few hundred thousand tons. And get a load of this. They're actually only about five feet tall. And only weigh around a ton. Whereas these others weigh around three tons. So they're quite light to put the least. They mostly get their name from the crackling part. Is whenever they're lifting up something that heavy. They're, for the record, they're crystals are on their head and on some parts of their arms and also some parts like below their torso and their legs are actually separated 
and then en some magical energy is actually mm, keeping them together, so thing them for the arms. But the way they get their crackling from is from lifting up heavy objects. They activate their ma main magic in the um, crystals, which is a strength enhancement type, actually, which is really impressive. They have been. They. Uh, and for the record, their arms are as bad as long as their body. They have been able to lift well over. And well, they were able to lift well over the weight of about 200,000 tons at a time. But if you're going that much, they're usually around maybe a few thousand years old. Most young ones are known to shatter their crystals from going too much energy because their body and crystal isn't. Enough to actually handle it. These golems are very nice, and also they, the energy crackling off of them and their own crystals are actually a um, bluish turquoise color. But the veins that appear on the rock are actually a um, red color, and these ones speak like they are really intelligent, which they are. They have, they know a few things. Not to mention they know a few good fighting techniques. So let's get to the next one, shall we? And trust me, this one's weird. Well, the weird one's the next one. I mean, <laughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> this one was the one I was talking about that was friends with the explosive cannon. These golems are known as the tough hardening golem, or tough hardening. These golems are mostly known to weigh around two tons, have a height of around seven feet tall. Well, technically about closer to, yeah, they're about seven feet tall. They are noticeable for their red rocks, they like as hair. And their shoal and their arms, where their arms are, it's like there's two spikes on that. But, and they have two giant forearms with jack claws. And they have like this weird black strap going across. No idea what that is about. And their, but the way they get their name is from their weird ability to actually harden their bodies. They are known to be able to withstand about a half about a half power to punch from a um, from the crackling from the crackling crystal. Which certainly is impressive in and of itself. But they're also known to go near unbreakable. The only ones that I've been able to see that are able to destroy these guys are the um cackling crystals that's how they got their name the um tough hardening because they were pretty tough to beat not to mention their rocks are still really tough the rocks they're made out of are a rare type and there's actually a few thousand of these ones which is impressive on how far they are these are mostly known to protect people but mostly are for defense and they mostly patrol the outer walls of a giant city or something and a few times actually patrol castles um but they mostly like partying up with their um with the explosive cannon golem on the count that they can get a good fight out of it and they can get and fun fact about these things, whenever their rock is broken, it actually grows back, weirdly enough, and becomes stronger, so, yeah. They are mostly known just to stay in there in their unbreakable form, and it's only lasting for like a minute or so. But trust me, it's near impossible to penetrate them. I found an RPG at one. Absolutely nothing. I've even used, um, 
a crackling crystal that I'm talking about a little gem from a crackling crystal golem that he gave me that one gave me I punched the thing it shredded the flesh on my arm but thanks to my magical healing capabilities that healed fast but not even a din on that thing now let's get to the next one This last one we're looking at is the weird, 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 weirdest golem I have yet to see. This one is called Half Magma, Half Ice Golem, or Ice Magma. The um, right side is actually... Wait, give me a second. The left side is, I, is fire... But, get a load of this. The left side is actually completely coursing with magma. And, oh, and for the record, they are way around um, two tons and are around eight feet tall. They're actually not as strong as the tough hardening or the explosive cannon, but still strong in their own right. One side is completely, their left side, I mean. It's completely coursing with magma, and fire comes off their head, their forearm, and their actual arm, their waist, and their leg. And you can see the lava coursing through them. It is very powerful, and it can control fire, and it can shoot fire from its hands, and from its eye, have its eye. But I mean by half... One half is a lot darker than the other. Now back to the eye. It's actually half blue, half red. Red on the left, blue on the right. Now that is quite weird. Now the other side is the even weirdest part. It's made of ice. Well, not really ice ice. It's a rock. They have the actual capability of making ice. But the ice doesn't melt. These are artificially made with a magic that cancels out both. When they are merging, they cancel both sides cancel each other out. The fire or magma don't don't go out or and don't harden, and the ice doesn't melt. Now the left side of the eye can actually shoot ice from it, and the right side can also emit a good chunk of ice. These golems are very weird they're they're actually one of the few um golems that can actually be born they are mostly known to be born from being chunk from being ripped off their parents and then throw down to the ground to grow but this one these i've seen are weird on the count that they're mostly coming in contact with some ice later on in their life like when they just chunked off, but most of them are made like this and chunked it ice a whole lot. It ain't pretty. Well, that's all the golems for today. I'm hoping to go over some more monsters besides golems next time. See ya then. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Well, anyways, subscribe to Azure's Box Story or Demonster Lance. Goodbye and peace out.